Welcome to the Kiwi Orthotic Services ordering walkthrough for the standard view. Today we'll be looking at placing a simple order right from your account just for a fake patient. You can see I've pulled up uh, just a test patient here and you can see some of the previous orders and files that have been uploaded, but we'll just be hitting create new order there. And on the first page, I'm going to flick right over to standard view on the top left and put in my clinician information, location information, uh, expected pickup date, and then of course, um, shoe gender and shoe size, as well as the patient's body weight. On the next page, you'll see there's an option for order quantity if you want multiple pairs of the same design. And you'll notice that the pictures on the order form that I'm looking at, uh, these are in the process of being updated and won't match what's in the catalog currently. Um, so refer to the catalog for the most up-to-date imaging and material specifications. Uh, for right now, we'll pick one that hasn't changed in a while. The walking design, which is uh, our most popular design, is a basic polypropylene direct three-quarter length shell with no extrinsic EVA stabilizers, uh, a full length neoprene top cover, and a Duracell bottom cover. Right down here at the bottom, you'll see a support rating option uh, from flexible all the way up to rigid. And what you'll notice is that as I select, say, semi-flex, the computer automatically calculates that the thickness for somebody of a 150 pound weight is going to be 2.9 millimeters of polypropylene. Now, if you're familiar with the flexibility of polypro, um, and if you want that to be a little firmer or a little bit more flexible for that specific patient, you have the option to guide this up or down uh, by um, 0.1 millimeters in either direction. So you can fine tune this to your heart's content. Go ahead and click next, and you'll see a stripped down list of our additions and modifications on the next page with options for attached or separated heel lifts at varying lengths, heel wells, metatarsal pads, and reverse mortons. Now please note that reverse mortons, if you're familiar with what this is on our order form, uh, this will be going through some changes for clarity in the upcoming months, so it may look a little different by the time you look at this. You do not have an option to change uh, the backing layer or the top cover with the standard view, but you can select a different length if you'd prefer it to be a three-quarter length cover. That ends just proximal to the metatarsal heads, or sulcus length, which is just distal to the metatarsal heads, or a full length, which is, of course, to toes. You can choose a different bottom cover material or delete it entirely if you'd like. And then for casting method, we have options for our traditional um, physical impressions. If you are going to be mailing us or sending us a uh, physical foam impression or slipper cast, this lets us know that that will be on its way, and this order will just sit in limbo until that arrives. If you are submitting a digital laser scan, either of a physical cast or of the foot directly itself, hopefully uh, by this point you've already uploaded the scan files and you'll need to attach those now. If you do not attach them, uh, there's no other way for us to access these files and we'll be contacting you to organize a way to retrieve them. Lastly, any special requests, um, any additional information or communication you'd like to have with our pedorthic team, go ahead and put in the notes to lab section here. Um, if it's any special requests uh, that are conflicting with the order information or don't seem to make uh, sense to uh, our team, we will reach out to you by the best communication method available, uh, which is usually email. And you are welcome, of course, to send any additional information along to uh, myself or the team here at tech, T-E-C-H, at koslab.ca. That's tech at koslab.ca. And lastly, you just can hit finalize and submit, and that'll put it in our production queue um, to be started within the next 24 to 48 hours. Thank you so much.